Guys, welcome back to the podcast. We're here with Matt and Patricia King. That's right. Married yes. couple, Naveen Nash. Also and it's married. a Valentine's Day episode. You guys are so nice to come in. And I wanted to do something at the top just really quick. Our sponsor, of course, is SeatGeek. It is the best place to get concert tickets. I have the app on my phone. I always check it. I love going in. They have their top 10 uh, things that are in the city. So they tell you what's going on, which is incredible. And um, and we've seen so many amazing shows. I've taken Charlie to see her favorite, Tyler, the creator. Uh, we've seen 21 Pilots. We've seen Billie Eilish. We've seen Vampire. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift we saw in Vegas, thanks to SeatGeek. And today we have a special, special Valentine's Day gift for Naveen for SeatGeek. And it's, it's, it's my Valentine's Day gift for Naveen. We have something from SeatGeek they sent over. Give it, Mitch. <laughs> Wait, really? <gasps> what is it? Two tickets to see no Whoa! Con, June 20th at the Hollywood Bowl. Row two. Row two. Oh row, two. row two. Row two. Row two. Whoa. Do you think he'll notice me? Talk, 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 talk. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. This, this is a- amazing. Wait, Seat Geek, I, I love you. <laughs> like, literally, you're so hot. You're so amazing. Everything about you is sexy. They are sexy. Wait, thank That's you. That's so nice. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, Seat this, Geek. Yeah. Sorry, sweetheart. I didn't know we were doing <laughs> gifts on this Valentine's Day special. <laughs> Would have appreciated it. I tried to get four. Oh! (laughs) I tried to get four. I love you, sweetie. That's so nice. I I love you. I love you. You'll get your gifts later. Uh, (laughs) And if you use my code Nash right now, you're going to get $20 off your first order if you go to SeatGeek. So go download the app. Go to the link in the description right now. Download it. Have SeatGeek on your phone. Make someone happy like she was just made so happy. And my thanks for Matt to Matt and Patricia for sitting through this ad mm. and mm. making it awkward for Matt who now really needs to come through. Do we have a promo code at all? Is there a promo code in this one? Because I can, Well, we I can, do actually. Can, can it's really called use... Nash. Oh, right. Yeah, $20 off your first order. <gasps> okay. And my thanks to SeatGeek for sponsoring this podcast. Okay, now we're back into the show. I don't know where that's going to go, but should, oh, let's put yeah. it at the top. It's going to be a great concert though. I he was Do you like him? Oh, yeah. I went to his concert in 2018 at the Troubadour. Oh, yeah. and a How real fan. How do you say fan. his last name? Khan? Is it, is it Khan? It's Khan. I always would say it. Khan. Yeah, and I wasn't sure. And I got corrected. We've also seen him together as no, well. I didn't go. Oh, I went. <laughs> you went and saw him? Adam was opening up for him. I just, Adam I opened tired. for him? I didn't want to go out. Adam Melcher. Adam Melcher Ooh, opened up for Noah. They're really friends. Cool. They're buddies. I think they went on tour together. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Hey, we could set I just up something. I love him. He's yeah. so good. He's such a good songwriter, and he's just, I just really like him so much. Yeah. Well, we're, we're And gonna, you're going to like him, too. We're going to love it. She also wants to go see um, Avril, Lavigne. Avril Lavigne, which. She's playing all the hits. She has to play all the hits. Yeah, of course. <laughs> where, when is she? When is she? Um, it's on May 30th. Okay. CK. We won't be here. <laughs> She's playing all the hits. All the hits and Simple Plan is opening up for her, and they're playing all their hits. So I would say, oh, that's that a hell of a show. A time. Joe's having uh, Simple Plan on his podcast tomorrow. Tomorrow? Nice. No, wait. I even think he's had the lead singer on no, before. No, not Simple yeah, Plan. The nah, the other one. Uh, Forty One. Some Forty One. Whoa. That's the one he's having on. That lead singer used to date Avril Lavigne, right? Yes. Is he doing okay? Some 41 guy? I don't know. I don't we'll know. find out. Okay. Find out Hopefully he's doing good. Tune in. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're great. We haven't been traveling, which has been nice. We've been settling into our home. We got we got a king size bed. Oh, okay. oh we'll it's amazing. A, a it's queen. Amazing. A queen, yeah. A full. A Big queen. Difference. A full? You think we were both sleeping <laughs> on a know. full? I just bought a full for Charlie. I had full on the brain. But. <laughs> yeah. No, we were, we were in a queen and it was fine, but a king size bed is much needed when Talk you're sleeping. Talk about the difference, Patricia. Oh, I'll tell you the difference. The queen. Um, okay, so first off, Matt takes up the entire bed. <laughs> so just now I have my own space. I'm 6'3". I got long legs, He's baby. Big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't realize that a California king is not. I always thought that was just a bigger version of a king. But a California king, do you know the yeah, difference? It's longer. It's yeah. longer. Yeah. And it's not, it's narrower than a king. Is it narrower? It's uh, a queen is 80 inches. A California king is 76. Uh huh. Oh. Didn't know that. Really? So you have a king. We have a king. King for the kings. Yeah, king for the kings. Yes. yes. Um, 
That's good. But we're loving it. <laughs> that was good. And 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 Matt sprawls out. This is yes. what I want to know about. Yes, Matt sprawls out. <laughs> he also uses a weighted blanket, but I don't like to sleep with a weighted blanket. So he uses his weighted blanket, but then in turn he'll steal all the covers. So then I'll wake up. He's like all over the bed, and then I just have like one like small part of the bottom of the bed. Because I'm trying to get under the covers. Is that I'm a also... metaphor for your relationship? Does Matt take up most of the relationships? Is it all about Matt all the time? <laughs> what do you think? That's what you want to know. No. No. I wouldn't say so. No. No. But you're, I, okay. Maybe but I do I... take the back stuff on a lot of things. Or the back seat on a lot of things. So yeah. Right, right. But you're, you, you the like to, you really take the covers though fully onto your side to where I have no comfort. Oh, we're back to the bed. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... the weighted blanket I can't get into. I love it. Too much. Too much? Well, I have you tried a bear a bear like working out while you sleep? A Baraby weighted blanket though is not um it has like holes. It's breathable too. I love the weighted blanket so much I put it on top of my head too. <laughs> like I cocoon in the middle of the night, surrounded just by comfort. I like it. I feel secure with it. Uh, do you do you have these things? We we have something funny in our relationship. We 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 did our wedding vows and she she made me laugh so hard during your wedding vows because she said she goes, you know, you're the best, blah, 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 which, yeah, obviously <laughs> she's going to say that. And then she said, uh, you always laugh You all, uh, when I watch, because we watch podcasts together, and mm-hmm. she'll say, she's like, I always say I'm better than all the comedians, and and I go along with it, <laughs> which I think is so funny. Yeah. I'm like, yes, good. sweetie, yes, you That's are. You're, you, you are, are as good like as Shane Gillis. like a big comedian, and, and in the moment, I'm like half asleep, and I'm like, I'm so much better. Like, my jokes are so much better, and he'll be like, yeah, yeah, no, do you think so? Yeah, because I think so, but but you think so, too. Okay, good. And I was like, is he faking? <laughs> we do that, though, don't we? We do, like, little things, with little white yeah. lies with each other. I'm sure I'm not as good in bed as she tells no, me. No, really, you, know? you are. No, 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 no. See, she has to say that. <laughs> you have anything like that? Like, guys? anything that we, like... He's like, what do you lie to Patricia about, Matt? <laughs> like, like uh, her cooking, or, you know, is there anything... No, he tells me, oh, that's too lemony. <laughs> yeah, Too no. lemony? Well, I, I'm Greek, so I cook everything yeah. with... Oh, it's so five good. It's so more good. lemony than lemony snicket out over <laughs> yeah. here. It's no, been... he just is not used to it. So that's the thing. But Here's the thing about the cooking. Yeah. I'm just like, I, I'm a bit of a rule follower. I'm a recipe follower. Just follow what the recipe says. Patricia's in there just like Emerald or Bobby Flay making it her own thing. And then we- sp- And it tastes great. And then we- No, oh, it doesn't taste great or we just spend the whole time eating it going- it's missing something, isn't it? And I'm like, well, did you read the directions? Just use use the measuring cups, weigh stuff out, and then we can just be satisfied with it. But she is a really great cook. Yes, That's nice. Did you, you. Did you cook thank a you. lot? Mm, when I crave something, I'll cook dinner. Yeah, did you guys do a lot of Postmates, a lot of ordering out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. But it's Matt, really this morning said this uh, month is frugal February. Frugal February. So I think that I needs to be- that. <laughs> So we're cooking at home more, but also meal planning yes. for the rest of the week. You know, yeah. eating those leftovers, yeah. good, healthy leftovers. I, I'm just. It's so tough because, like, I do live in the kitchen. Yeah. And she would cook, like, she would whip up an amazing meal. But I'm in there. And uh, last time she kicked me out of the kitchen. She didn't kick me out. I said, I'll move. I went to the deck. And then we got swatted. And then it was a whole thing. But I heard. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, making yeah, yeah. this, like, big dinner. And I was, like, so excited about it. And it was going to be, like, my first, like, aesthetically pleasing dinner. And then it's, like, the cops. Did they at least let you go back in and be like, I got to turn off the oven. I have a souffle <laughs> no, in the oven. No, they don't let you go back no, in. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> they put you up against the wall. And then they sweep the house. <laughs> Have you already talked about this? No, we could talk about it again. I mean, you know, life life's been insane this year. It's just been it's been great. Like I have all the whole community. <laughs> I have. We all almost got killed, but it's been really fun and <laughs> Listen, these are these are these are serious times, you know. Yeah. The world is getting like uh everything's so expensive. Uh I got two kids. Mm-hmm. Wyatt's going to Columbia next year. <gasps> he Congrats. Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to Columbia. He got in. Jason, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Congrats. Yeah. That's where Vampire Weekend went. That's right. <laughs> they met there. That's right. That's so cool. Yeah, only Matt would know that. That's so wow. funny. That's where, because we know that. Wyatt and I say, talk about him, but yeah. So that's cool. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just like hell or high water. I'm going, I'm going to, you know, provide for my family. Good. Right. That's it, you know. And I saw, I saw the podcast clip on Unfiltered about it. A long time ago. And then my chat was like, Zane and Heath hate you. Zane and Heath hate you. All this stuff. And then I watched the clip and 
I actually, I actually like wouldn't. I didn't watch anything. I'm, I'm not gonna watch it. I know Zane and Heath aren't gonna. Uh, don't mean anything by it. And then I watched it, and I was like, you know, when stuff is taken out of context, when stuff is clipped, it is a completely different ball game. Oh yeah. And um, and you know it. I I don't expect them to get it. No. You know what I mean? Like I I don't expect anyone to understand what it is. Even even as I'm sitting here with you guys, I don't expect you guys to get it. Like it's. It's its own community. Yes. It's its own. The people are playing a game. Um, and and every every morning when I get on, the same people are there to see me and see the live and, and participate in it. And it's um, it's been amazing. Oh, know? that's great. Yeah. And I, I get it. Yeah. I, I, I do get it. I think also in the beginning of it, it was like so new for us seeing it. We were like, right. what is going on? Right. I understand that you like – have a community in it. And you're also, it's a great revenue stream for you. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. You got kids. You got to support yes, your dad. Yes. And, a house. And, and so that, that's, that's sort of like where, where I am with it. If I felt like it was, um, I don't know if I, 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 I just, I just know that it, it, it is something. And I know that when I started vine, people said the same thing to me. They're like, what are you doing? Why are you doing vine? You know, and I was like, okay, this is what I'm doing. And then I did YouTube, and people were like, why are you doing YouTube? And I was like, because I'm doing it. And I feel like when you're first to something, that can really uh, pan out. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't have anything else right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, not, that's not true. That's not true. But but hopefully it can it can grow into something where it's like. Um, I'm selling tickets this summer from it, uh, and and. I'm I'm trying to do it in a way where uh, it's different than everybody else. I hope. Cool. You know. I mean, McLean Farrell with her clothing brand, mm -hmm. it completely. She's done amazing. Yeah, like the lives changed her. Right. Clothing lines. I yeah. mean, you with the ticket thing too. I mean, you know, other than the, the cops coming to your house. <laughs> um, okay, so for the live battles, the people. I don't know. Your audience may already know this, but right. I'm kind of curious about it. So I always see you like matched up. Sometimes I recognize the other like creator you're with yeah. or I have like no clue who this person is. Yeah. Do you pick that person? Yes. Or is this all prearranged via text or is the fan base going, you need to battle this person? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes people will go, you have to battle this person and then you'll have a set date where you'll battle. And those scores are insane. There's like everyone comes to see who will win. But most of the time it's just like you go on, you see who's available, you request, you request, you request, and then they come in and you battle for five minutes. Okay. And then, and, uh, and I've been on the other side of it too, where I'm playing and, you know, gifting for people okay. and it's really fun. It's really addictive. Nice. Like I'll, I'll be, I'll be watching Jonah and I'll be like, you place the gift at the right time and you get a certain score and stuff. Um, but yeah. And I, I think live streaming is, uh, I think it's just really great. Like it, it. It, it boosts your TikTok. Yeah. Um, and there's, it just gets you in people's... There's some strange live streams out there. Yeah. Like, once I come up on my feed that I end up watching for forever, and I right. don't know why I'm watching it. Right. Like, like do yeah. you... I watch, like... Do you know the one about the cats and the rotisserie chicken that's on the middle of the road? No. no. <laughs> there's, like, a median in the middle of the road of this small town right underneath, like, a stoplight, and this guy puts out a rotisserie chicken for just the stray cats in the town. Yeah. They have like 5,000 views on this thing. Every and time I pull it up, eating? are these cats just feasting? No And way. I'm like, this guy must be making, I guess, some good money if there's that many people watching. He just puts out the rotisserie <laughs> chicken for the cats. I just wish he would move it out of the median because it's like <laughs> not the best intersection for stray cats to be running out in the middle of the road because you're putting out a rotisserie chicken. And have, you the, the, have you seen the gerbils? Um, oh, oh yeah. just the gerbils going around on a thing? Yo, yeah. It's one camera angle. It's just one shot. I'm watching of, live, sorry. Of, it's okay. It's one camera angle. There's 5,000 people watching, like Matt said. And it's just gerbils. Like running. Not even running. They jump in the thing and then they, they just spin. Go, 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 go. And then they get thrown out. And then they go back, go back in. in. I love that's gerbils. It's just like, I feel like that's like, a, what's that show that kids watch right now? That's like really bad for the kids. Like oh, Coco Melon? Yeah, I feel like that's like Coco Melon for like adults. Oh, yeah. So yeah, watch yeah, that yeah, yeah. with your brain to like see something really fast. <laughs> yeah. What uh, has it been since your wedding? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's been great. How about you, what do you, how do you think it's been since? Oh, I think it's been so normal married. and so great. I feel like it was just like the next step, but it feels just like 
I don't know. It's just like, oh, we're married, which is amazing. But I think if, if it was like really scary, then I think we shouldn't have gotten married. I yeah. guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's been great. I feel like all of November and December was really busy. I yeah. mean, we got married October, so you were yeah. It's holiday season, and so I feel like this month has been like the first month, or January has been the first month that we've really gotten to like live and be married and not have to travel here or there and it's been great yeah. he hasn't he hasn't bugged me too much no i don't <laughs> think so i definitely have noticed like a shift in myself like mentally like once you have like you've gotten married the permanence is like fully set in and there right. is like a truth to it all like all my little me 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 anxieties the really like selfish stuff i used to worry about yeah. in like the back of my head has Really reduced. It's not gone, yeah. but um, I'm worrying less about me, 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 and more like about us. And yeah. that there's excitement and fun in that, um, and it kind of washes over you. So I've been really enjoying like this shift in like my mental health for the better. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you have kids too. Oh, I can't and imagine you really, that. You really forget yourself. The reality yeah, really strikes in. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you focused on um, these days? These days, focused on working hard. Yeah. <laughs> just I don't know. Um, I think my Instagram is doing well, and so kind of just growing with that. Right. And yeah, myself and us. Yeah, Patricia's popping off right now. She's becoming like quite well, the influencer. Well, and Greta Amazing. have been really great. So. Oh great! You're doing, working with a lot of brands and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's been nice. Which ones? Which ones? Um, let's see. Harry's Seed, Nutrafol, um, Brilliant Earth. Uh-huh. Oh my God! That. What else have I been working with? Quite a lot. Strivectin, Club. Oh Long. my God. A bunch of brand, like a bunch of stuff. Are you still doing the podcast? No. No, I stopped it. Yeah. No. Podcast we might do it again, but it just was a lot when we have to do it all and. Right. Neither of us really wanted to do every single thing, now, but we will, could maybe. Will do you it. guys go out on Valentine's Day? We are this year, yeah. You are. We usually have always kind of done like a little mini, like fun trip for Valentine's Day in the past, but yeah. this year we're just going out to a good dinner. You are. You have your reservation already. Yeah, we're going. Oh, I don't know if we want to say where we're going to be at. I'm working on that. There is a really good special at a place that I know. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> It's uh, it's Buster's. this place. Yeah, there's a really great <laughs> Valentine's Day special. Oh yeah, yeah. Prefix. What a prefix? <laughs> Three course meal, dessert, all of it. Uh, it's, it's probably decorated really well what too. Is it? It's uh, it's frugal February. Fru- I know, but this is Valentine's <laughs> Day, so this is our one day we uh, you know. Well, a prefix on frugal February is great, <laughs> right? I want to go to dinner on Valentine's Day. Yes, my dear. I'm working on that one. I have the 13th and the 14th booked out. Where? That's f- booked out. What do you mean? You well, can't do I was, anything? I was thinking, I think, I think yeah. it's fun to go out on the 13th. Yeah, because I've you never. a prefix menu. Yeah. I don't mind a prefix menu. You want to go out on the 14th? We can go on the 14th. Yeah. I want to go I out. Think I think Craig little... still had reservations. I was looking there the other day. Really? I don't want to do that. You said what? Craig's we had a lot there of reservations. Last year. Craig's has Valentine's Day reservations? Mm-hmm. No way. I think they had a few when I looked like a few days ago because I thought Valentine's was on Tuesday or whatever it was. I had the days wrong and I was looking and I was like, oh, this is Valentine's Day. Um, and I think they had some or maybe they didn't. I don't know. We went to Catch last week and it was so good. Catch steak or catch? Catch. catch. Yeah. You know, you the go food's out. food's great. You go out and like everything's expensive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at least it, it should be like amazing. Right. Right. We were eating at Catch one time, yeah, and there was a couple next to us. Catch yeah. steak. Catch steak. Yeah, and this couple sat down. Um, kind of a younger girl, kind of like an older guy, maybe late thirties, early forties, and uh, he's like a big macho, like tan guy. She's this, you know, cute gal, and the dinner started going well for them, and they start getting really intense, and they start fighting and really like, bickering at each other, and we are like trying to like. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was his, like, maybe not his wife and maybe his mistress. And it was a very intense conversation. Not really sure what was all said. Now, it's been over. It's been a long time at this point. Um, And he 
so yeah, we're like trying to figure out the context. Is this like, it seems like, yeah, she's his mistress and <laughs> he's wanting, or she's wanting him to leave his family <laughs> and finally make this official. He kind of at one point like pounds down his fist. He has like a big supercar, uh, uh, like his car keys were on the table. Yeah. He had a big flashy watch. He looked like he was really wealthy. Yeah. And they get their food. He gets the big like bone marrow, yeah. say thing. And then at one point she just picks up her purse and storms off. No. Wow. And then he storms off as well. And then our waiter comes by and he goes, well, I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> and we're like, I know that looked pretty intense. Looked like they had a fight. And he goes, and he looks back at their table and he like picks up their bottle of wine. And he goes, I normally wouldn't do this, but this is a really nice <laughs> bottle of wine. If you guys want this, like they haven't, like, yes. they've only had like one glass out of this. He's like, this is like a thousand dollar bottle no of wine. Way. Yeah. And we're like, sure, we'll take it. So we just enjoyed the most <laughs> finest wine in the and, restaurant. And how is a thousand dollar bottle of wine? Good. Yeah, I was really. I mean, it was great. Yeah. Right. Do you think you could tell the difference between like a cheap bottle of wine versus a thousand dollar bottle time, of wine? One time, I had a, I had a, I had a glass of a thousand dollar. I, I had a glass of wine, and I don't like wine that much, and it was really, really, really good. I it's, think you can tell the difference. It's really good because there's a little bit of a weird funk to it. Yes, yes, yes. Where if you tasted that taste, though, in a cheap bottle of wine, you'd be like, this isn't good. Yeah. But I would say a $1,000 bottle of wine at a restaurant is usually probably only like a $300 bottle of wine. So I feel like oh, that's true. Oh, that's a good so like a thousand dollar bottle of wine, like a true one, I think you can really taste a difference. I, I, I love uh, stories of like fights. She has a couple. You have a really funny story for one of your exes. At catch, <laughs> that one. What's it? What's and it the, with a catch? Airplane. It's same guy. Same guy. <laughs> same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naveen can. I got in a fight. Naveen at went catch. on. First of all, Naveen went on a lot of dates before she got married. She like purposely went out on dates to find. I was dating to like find my person. So nice. You, she went on thousands of dates. Not thousands. Hundreds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How many? I went on a lot. Like I was going like two, three times a day. Yeah. Oh, wow. On dates. Good yeah. job. Like I've... just like even like just meeting up for a coffee or right. like ice cream, dinner, lunch, a walk. Because yeah, so... the probability of you finding somebody is Once like higher I, like, than the Once I learned you... it was like a numbers game, I was like, okay, well, then I want to meet as many people as I can to like really decide who gets to marry me. You're right. Yeah. I think that's really good. That's really good advice for somebody out there looking for somebody. Like... I, yeah, I think it's really good. Someone messaged me saying like I'm creating hoes by saying that, but I I don't think you should sleep with all of your dates. Oh no, you any, go, any, any. You shouldn't sleep with any of your dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you shouldn't sleep with any of your dates. <laughs> there was a statistician for like the New York Times who was obsessed about this dating probability, yeah. and she realized she was going to like serial go on a bu bunch of dates knowing that the probability of her actually finding someone she genuinely likes mm -hmm. would happen and she did because sometimes people will go on one date and they're like i'm just they're like dating's not for me it, then they yeah. don't date for a whole month and i'm like you're missing out on the probability of you getting closer mm -hmm. uh -huh. but go on so with the fight that happened or yeah you were so going i there? was i was that so. couple <laughs> um we got in like a fight and like it he was meeting my sister for the first time and uh, my best friend, and <laughs> it went downhill. He he didn't like like my my nails were blue, and he hates blue nail polish. And he's like super super wealthy, and like think thought he could like control everything. So he just like went nuts, and then like I threw a card at him, and then he was like, "What kind of card?" He wrote. He made Ace me a card. Spades. It's really funny. He made me a card with oh. our picture on it because. This dinner was to like meet my like Yasmin and Noor, yeah. and also it was to apologize for the Mexico thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh boy! An airplane fight we had. So he made me a card with like our picture on it, and like it was like this really nice note. And I was like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> 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 yeah. If anybody ever like tries your nails, like, nails, yeah, 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 yeah. blue but nail blue polish. wasn't the vibe to be like on his side really. But quick. then when it she was, talks about sad. this person now, she's like, "Man, he was really funny." He was so, no, like, <laughs> the guy. Like, the guy should have been a comedian. Okay. He was funny. And then what was the airplane story? Um, so there was only one first class ticket. <laughs> this is a billionaire, by the way. Okay. Very, she very, chose, very She chose wealthy. me over a billionaire. <laughs> that should make you feel good. <laughs> you imagine? Yeah. There was one first class Not to mention ticket. an NBA player, too, in there. Go ahead. And NFL. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> okay. I feel like we could narrow down who this person was no, already. No, it's three different people. Oh, oh yeah, I yeah, thought yeah, it was yeah, a guy 
guy who yeah. played. It's like, it's Deion Sanders. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's only one person that played in the NBA and the NFL. Yeah. He did baseball and football. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so we're on this airplane, and he said, I have a bad leg, so I have to take the first class seat. And I was like, well, that's kind of not fair because I've had such a shitty trip with you. I think I should be the first class seat. And he was like, we'll figure it out once we get there. And I was like, well, no, we should just take another plane because – like what this is yeah. so like degrading it's not about first class it's about sitting together yeah. let's be clear yeah it's, it's yeah. not about it, it was just like i think it's rude for one person it's, i agree you're either both economy or we're both first class. <laughs> yeah mm. although you did do that to the kids <laughs> it's a different story but go ahead that, you can't go to boston economy <laughs> you can't i can't I can't. it's I a agree, long I vibe agree. it's a long vibe she took the they, kids they were so and they, they love me and they've never been mad at me before but the look they gave me when we entered the plane and she flew with the kids. I was I was on tour and I was meeting them in Boston. So, so she took, took my to two Boston. kids, which is incredible yeah. for a stepmom to do that. And she took them on the plane. And when it came time, <laughs> no, but they were fighting. They were like, "I want the window." No, I want the window. And then I was like, "Okay, well, why don't one of you take it one way?" And then when we come back, the other one will take it. And then they're like, "Okay." And then Wyatt looked at me. He goes, "But wait, are you just okay with sitting in the middle?" And I was like, "So I'm in row one." And he's like, <laughs> But to be fair, I I got it because I was like I, I don't. You wanna... paid for the for your own first class. I was yeah. like, that's yeah. how that's how. Firm and kids I shouldn't was fly first it. class anyway. No, it's not right. No, they don't need the legroom. No, well, Wyatt does, but Wyatt's well, pretty he's tall. six three. But... Wyatt's like crammed in there. I'm like, I, I just really need to sprawl out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so go tell. Finish the billionaire story. Um, so we got on the plane, and I was just like really annoyed, and he was like, I have some cash on me, just hold on. So then he's like, he's a really big, tall guy, so he's like already like taking up space and he's like waving around five thousand dollars in cash and he was like can you just move can you just move and i'll give you this and like you can sit in the back and like everyone was like no he's trying to no. buy someone's seat with five thousand dollars in cash he's getting he, on the plane the on the flight he's getting I would've, frustrated i would have taken I'm, that in a heartbeat yeah. i know no, <laughs> everyone was just like really annoyed by right. him and like telling him to sit down and he was like you don't want five thousand dollars cash you don't want five thousand come on and he's like harassing people i was like you know what it's all good. I'm just going to go sit yeah. in the back. Ooh. And so I sat there and I was like, okay, whatever. And then he like kept coming back to check on me. And he would like check on the movie I was watching. And he'd be like, a comedy? You should be watching a documentary. This isn't growing your brain. And I was like, <laughs> oh. oh. He wouldn't let her watch comedies. So every time I was like, he'd like leave and I'd like switch back over. Like it got like insane. It was an insane ride. And then he brought me back food. And I was like, I don't, this is too much. But so it didn't work out with him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was for the better. He gave me great stories. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I love the guy. Uh, uh, that's true. You have great stories from that. Yeah, Matt and I flew when we flew to uh, to Japan. Yes. <laughs> I was in. I was in economy. Yeah, was because he in first. <laughs> yeah, but they met. They <laughs> because no. whoa, wait, Liz. No, no, but it was honestly it was fine. But he had the audacity to ask for me. I, my mom. Um, Gave me an ambient to be able to, you know, survive the flight. He had the audacity that asked for one of my extra <laughs> pills. And I was like, no, I need that on the way back. You're sitting all the way up there. You think I'm going to give you that? That's really funny. Like, but it wasn't like I purchased myself a first class seat and didn't purchase herself one. Like, or it was Zane and Heath surprised me with the first class ticket. I see. Yes. yes which was yes, so yes, nice oh, of yes, them. Yes, yes, But yes, then yes. when I looked at the prices of the other first class seats, it was really it was, out no, of place. It was like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I that, didn't really care okay, that much, okay. but yeah. like, so I did laugh that was when he compromise. tried to ask for an ambient. I was like, "No, you are you 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 have a full down lay down bed, and I'm in a middle seat." Like, oh, what a great! But did you only how many ambient did you have? I thought you had like more. I did. Yeah, see, she exactly could've. how many did you? I did, but it was just more the like principle of it. I wasn't mm -hmm. gonna give you. One. Did you have any nightmare dates before Matt? No, I didn't really go on. I didn't really go on yeah. many dates before. Billy. No, I didn't really want to date anybody. <laughs> That's probably why I was so apprehensive to you. Yeah, she didn't really like me at first. I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, I like what in college we like I dated around, but like it wasn't like we went on dates. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like him at first. No. Why are you rolling your eyes? Okay, oh wait, like wait, why didn't she like she didn't me? Like you? No, I I, I could. Well, what the thing is, she would public? always say yes to going I on a date. Thought he was just like really weird. So I knew she was kind of <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, who is this boy? Like. This, he had bleached blonde hair. He had earrings at the time. Oh, yeah, and I, did. And for me, and I was just was like, and I like looked him up because I didn't even know anything about like men influencers or whatever. And I was like, 
this is so weird. What is this? And I just kind of blew you off. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> and we kept running into each other. And kept running into each other, so. Oh, you kept running into each other? Yeah. At random places. Because you were friends with Ella already? No, no, no. Oh, no, it's not even Ella. It was oh. just a kind of mutual friends. Just mutual. Like, her former roommate went to college with me, but I didn't know her in college, but our friend circles kind of knew each other. So there yeah. were these occasional overlaps oh, wow. where we would run into each other. Yeah. That's cute. It is you really cute. To be. I know. I still can't believe she's my wife. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. I was very, very lucky. And what turned the corner for you? Um, we went to a basketball game that I wasn't going to, I almost said no to because I was like, wait, this guy really likes me because he's talking about it on a podcast, first of all. And I was oh. like, that's freaking me out. And wait, I have were... all these people ta- sending it to me, like talking about the Southern Belle. And I was like, okay, I really don't like him. Like he likes me. Like he's talking about how he's in love with me. And I was like, oh my gosh. I called my brother and I was like, I don't know what to do. And he was like, just go to the game. If, if after the game, it's not fun. At least you got to go to a basketball game for free. And I was like, okay, you're right. <laughs> But then, I don't know, something at the basketball game, I decided I liked him. God, just like that. Finally. I realize you're funny and normal. Yeah. I think I think I struggle with that, too, when I start, first started dating her. I, I had trouble being myself. Yeah. Because you, you, like, want it so bad. Right. <laughs> you show up in Lamborghinis and stuff. You show up in Lambos. No, I was shooting a video where I was trying out three or four cars. So every day, the, someone, the guys would... We'd swap cars, and I'd get a new car. And uh, and so one night I had a Lamborghini, freaking like a, Lam- a classic Lamborghini, yeah. in, in front of the house. So I can go out, I can take my car, or I can take the Lamborghini to the date. And it's new. So I'm like, oh, f- yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to pick up the hottest chick <laughs> in the world. And you knew how to drive a Lambo, like, properly? That oh, would it be wasn't my... a stick. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be my biggest fear. Lambos are intimidating. I'd be like, I don't... Where? How do I How do I park this? They're, that, that's the worst. That's why and I would then, never <laughs> get one. Yeah, Just and like... you over speed bump, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 um, and you know what's tough, Matt, is getting in. Oh, yeah. At my age. And, and you're tall. You'd have trouble getting in. But anyway, so I'm like, dude, I'm like, this is amazing. I'm picking up the hottest chick, the funniest chick. I'm like... I, and I love this person. Like, I've loved her for two years. I'm going to show up in a Lamborghini. Fucking game over. <laughs> I'm fucking it's the biggest ick. Yeah. Cruising yeah. down. And it wasn't cruising, even years. Cruising down Laurel Canyon with, like, like so excited. most perfect tunes. I put the aux cord in so I can have my yeah. song. <laughs> you know, I'm listening to Jet, Cold Hard Bitch, or something, yeah, yeah. something really basic like that, or ACDC. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Pull up, I'm like, yo, dog, I'm here. I'm out in front. Get out, stand in front of the car <laughs> to like, like open the door me. and she, she walks out. She's just like, oh, I don't like these kind of cars. No, you mean, Ugh. no, because we got in the car and I didn't say anything. I just like went in and, and Jason had this like huge smile on his face and he's like, okay, are you not going to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> Was that what I said? Yeah, like you were like looking at me like you opened the door and you're like, uh, uh, yeah. And then you got inside and you're like, oh, let me just turn it on. And like you were so like excited. And at one point you were you were like, okay, she's not saying anything. I have to say something. You're like, you're you're not gonna say anything? You don't like this? And I was like, I just don't really like these kinds of cars. Yeah. And you were crushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that wasn't crazy. It was cool. No, I but was. It, but thank goodness she didn't really like it. Imagine yeah. Right. She's like, is this going to be all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Then you'd be like, oh, don't that's get used true. to this, sweetheart. <laughs> that was, that, that yeah. was another thing that she said in in uh, we made a we made a wedding video. It's out now if you guys want to watch it. Hopefully, and um, and that was what she told me right before we got married. She was like, you know, really liked it when I just stopped putting on a show or putting mm. on airs. Uh, there was a big, there was a really funny thing she said, which was like, there was a really funny thing, right? We were talking about like maybe moving in together and I was like upset and she was like, what is it? What is it? And I'm like, yeah, but you can't live here. She's like, why not? Why can't he I He just live? kept saying like, he was like, okay, so I'm just going to like start saving and I'll get a new house and then we'll live together. And I was like, what? Like, why would why wouldn't I live at your house? So I was like, something is weird. Like this oh. person has a secret girlfriend or something's right. going on that's so weird. And like he was like adamant about moving to like a really big house. Yeah. But this is big to me. 
Right. Are you like, saying like this house is the one you were like not wanting to? Yeah. Move? Well, there, I had a reason why I wanted to move. Okay. And so like okay. I was like pushing him, pushing him, like trying to get it out of him. And then you want to say what it was? The reason was because <laughs> my son uses my shower. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like that. Like he was yeah. like embarrassed about that. Yeah. And it's like. I was like super embarrassed. He was about like, it. "What am I gonna do when he wants to take a shower and like, what? What if you want like personal space? I think oh. you thought I was more of a personal space person than I was. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I was. I think everyone I've ever been with is like, I'm like very like big space. family. Like everyone shares everything. It just yes. doesn't even. Which is great you? about you. Yeah. Oh yeah, when I was a kid, I used my parents' shower all the time. Yeah, I yeah. love my parents' shower. Yeah. I think it was also because it was a like a better way for them to keep our eye on us and make sure we were getting like ready. In time for school. Yeah. Rather than yeah. us being all the way upstairs, they wouldn't be able to find us. Yeah. Yeah. I always loved my parents' show. Of course, Wyatt was in there for 45 minutes the other night, but <laughs> listening to some music. Um, but um, 45. I remember, I remember the first time that you told me about Naveen, but y'all had known each other beforehand, right? <laughs> we went on a couple dates. And then it was ago. like a few years in between. Two, two years and then y'all, okay, because we were at, I think it was at the I Like You party at. Um, was it Dirty Laundry? I can't believe you remember this. Yes, and you we were talking and something came up and you were like, oh yeah, I mean, I am in, in love with this girl. I mean, we <laughs> it, we all weren't even like officially dating again, I don't think, but you're like, we, we went on a few dates a few years ago and this and that. And I just remember you were just so happy and you were like, we just, I, I think I'm going to marry her. I think we're going to have kids or whatever. I don't even know what, but at the time it was like, and now it's you. So I just remember that. It was what if cute. you weren't talking about me? Who reached? Really who reached back out to one another after so the I two years? So I moved back to LA. So I moved away during COVID. Okay, okay. it was like just too boring here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was like, I'm out. And so then I came back, and then I was like settling in, and then I was like starting to go on dates again. And then I thought of Jason because our dates went so well. Like I had so much fun with him, but. And nothing bad happened. Like during COVID, I would invite him to come to like Mexico and stuff, and he would just like turn mm -hmm. me down because it's like there's a pandemic. I thought I would die. <laughs> <laughs> he was like being so serious about it, and like, um, so I was like, maybe he's not into it, or I thought maybe he's not like spontaneous enough, right, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on with you, but now looking back, it's like you have kids. It was a pandemic. You can't just right. That was the go thing. on vacation. Leave, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys uh, feel like as a couple, it's a little like weird? Oh, are you guys friends with a lot of couples? We were just talking about this. We want to make more couple friends. Yeah. That's what we were saying. We yeah. feel pretty like yeah. solo being a couple. Like so we're the can only. Can we get two more? <laughs> yeah. Two more tickets two for more. no We'd love that. Um, no, we want to start do doing like a couple's like, like dinner. Club. Like a supper dinner. club. But then you start shouting out the people that can't go, like Todd. Or, right. or Zane, then it's like, oh. But then they just have to get girlfriends. Yeah, they just have to get used to it. And it's I would tell easy. that to their face, absolutely. I wouldn't even get try to hide it from them. Get a girlfriend or bring a date. Yeah. What, would yeah. say, what would you say? It's for, what do you, uh, I'll be the single friend. Matt, what are you doing Friday night? We're actually doing a couple's dinner night. <laughs> we are. Well, oh, cool. I, can I come? Uh, well, like I said, <laughs> it's a couple's thing. If you, I mean, if you had a date or once you start dating someone, you are more than welcome to join. And I can't but, wait for that day. But don't you feel bad for the people that haven't been lucky enough to meet a Patricia or a Naveen? Mm, <laughs> mm, I don't know. I don't really feel bad for them because I don't. How would I say it? Like, uh, I, I know that Mike is trying. I know Mike is sure. actively Mike going is on trying. dates and he's looking. So I don't feel sorry for him. I hope and I want it to happen for him. Right. So you would tell Mike, your closest friend, yeah. you can't come yeah. to the couple's dinner. He'd well, be I feel like they're single. People do like single Valentine's Day things all yeah. the time and they're single going out and we don't get to do that. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of that That's going true. on. And also there's other couples that we like occasionally see at parties who we don't really get to see on our like week. Uh, we don't, we probably see them once a month, but like they seem so great. We need a double date with them. Actually, it'd be great if we just had a bunch of couples like that and we hosted yeah. them for us to get to know them in like that type of environment. If right. that makes sense. Right. Right. Have you, so who, who's your closest couple friends? Oh, that's a really good question. I would say, Arden yeah, Arden, Rose and Will Derbyshire, do you know them? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I would say they're one of our closest couple friends. I thought we were gonna go out with the D'Amelios, but I dropped the ball, I think. I think I didn't we're show up to his both birthday party. very airy, so we need the other couple to be like, 
hey, you said today, right? Like we need right. we need a couple that's like really on top of us. Which to Amelia, wait, like the the parents? The parents. Oh. We're gonna hang with the parents. <laughs> yeah, which they're cool. I I, I love they're them. They're really nice. They yeah. were here. They were great. Um, She's so pretty. And then Heidi. we saw Heidi mm-hmm. at. Uh, Remember that food thing we went to? The chain event. The chain where right? we met Nathan Fielder. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, and John Mayer was there. John Mayer. Heard a lot of cool people were at that party. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's so tough though. It's like, what do you say? I don't know. Usually, I don't really like saying anything to celebrities. It's so hard. We did have a good interaction with Nathan Fielder. Was, that was probably I the best always best interaction I've ever had with a celebrity, and because he was great, because we had something to say. Right. Right. We we, we had just watched his show, The Curse. And it was not out that long. So when we told him that we liked the show, he was like, oh, my God, somebody's yeah. watching this. Right. Um, I want to finish that really bad. I heard the finale is really good. Patricia's not a fan of it. I didn't say that. There was one day, it was a Sunday, and I just didn't want to watch something like that. I just wanted to watch some like cheesy yeah. like movie. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked it. Okay. We loved it. We finished it. I yeah. really liked the first episode. Yeah. I like Emma Stone a lot, too. She's so good in it. She's, She's a rock so star. Good in it. She's really something. Um, you guys have Super Bowl plans? Well, my parents were supposed to come in town this weekend, and we were going to maybe like have some people over. I don't know. Then my mom um, was playing tennis yesterday, and she was going to get the ball, but then there was another tennis ball, and she her ankle is like oh. huge. Sprained oh lim- ligaments. They're just going to like postpone and come a different time, just because it like yeah. she your has to be in a boot was, and on crutches. Your family so. was so great. Your wedding you. was so I spectacular. I love your family. Thank Both you. We had They're such great. a Lucky. good yes. time. Thank and I feel like your family's like meshed so well they together. They do. They do. Yeah. We were bummed we couldn't come to y'all as we were stuck on a train. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys were uh, doing the Northwest, right? Did yeah. The, the Pacific Starlight, or I think that's what it's Any called. Good stories from that trip? Um, Oh, stories from that trip. You were on a tr- you were basically on a train for a week? Well, no. So no. we were. <laughs> no, a week for like. My, I had heard through the grapevine like, that you were going, and I just we imagined on, yes. you guys like uh, like some Wes Anderson movie, <laughs> like Darjeeling. Yeah, Limited, Darjeeling Limited. Just, yeah. No, 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 no. We drove up the coast. Okay. We flew from Alabama to Oregon. We drove up the coast. It was beautiful. Yeah. And then instead of flying back, we were like, let's take the thirty-hour train, and it was actually thirty-six hours. And I didn't realize that was going to be a whole like. We got there at two o'clock one day, and then we didn't get to LA until nine p.m. the next night. Yeah, like we were in Santa Barbara, and we still had six hours to go. That's the most annoying part of it, but it's really cute and cozy. You know, you go to the dining cart, you sit next with another couple as well, and have have a place to sleep. Yeah, yeah, it's like bunk beds. You pull it, yeah, you pull down. I got the top bunk, she got the bottom bunk. I had to like kind of strap myself in. I don't know how I like managed to see, managed to make him sleep for first class in Japan. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, no, that trip was really fun though. Yeah. But Super Bowl, I don't know. Do y'all have plans? What are you What are you thinking? Is David not hosting anything? Usually, he's always the man with a plan for Super Bowl. We saw Natalie the other night, and she sounded like she was going to try to make something happen yeah. over there. But I don't know. I thought, is David going to the Super Bowl though? They are going to this. No, they're going out there, but okay. But they're they'll be back for the game. Yeah. If if David's not doing anything, then I feel like we might have a little something. Did you guys see Drake's uh, leaked video? Uh, I know that something has leaked, but I'm not a leak watcher. You're not. Wait. Well, oh wait. This is. Is this like a sex tape leak? Wait. Well, don't. They don't know if it's him. Oh. Oh. It's a. It's a sex thing. It's. It's him touching. It's supposed maybe him touching himself. Or... But can I? Go can ahead. I say a hot take? Please. I think that. So he got it wiped off the internet. It was like a oh, picture. Oh, he did? Yeah. How do you get so something you, wiped off the internet? So I think that it wasn't really his, but he wants a rumor going around that he's very, like, Endowed. Big. Endowed. And then he had it wiped before anyone could actually, like, like anyone he knew could be like, wait, is this, this isn't yours. That's my, right. Interesting. Oh, that's my hot take. Oh, right. I just don't think he has a big one. <laughs> you don't think so? I just don't think so. This whole time, I thought it was a mix. A yeah. I thought it was a mixtape leak. And when you're saying video, I'm thinking music video. That's why I'm like, I'm anti-leak <laughs> stuff. Damn! They, every time it came up, I'm like, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want it to spoil the next tracks. I like to wait for the full I didn't release. Even anything about? <laughs> Damn! We went to. We'll uh, probably check it out. We went to, I thought I thought this was speaking of frugal February. I thought yes. this was crazy. We go to volleyball on Saturday Sunday with Charlie. Naveen's amazing. She 
I always say, like, I'll take her. It, it's it's kind of brutal. You have to get up at, like, 5 a.m., and you have to be there at, like, 3, 4 o'clock mm-hmm. for a tournament. It's kind of brutal, and I always say, like, you don't have to go, but she always goes. She's so nice. Anyways, we get down there. We walk in at 7 a.m. No one's feeling great. They charged me $20 and $20 to watch my daughter play. Is that not insane? That's and a rocket. And they charge you to park. And charge to park. So another 15 to park. Is that not crazy? Could we're, you imagine when you were a kid, when you played a sport? You play sports when you were a kid? Yeah. I was a cheerleader. You were a cheerleader. No, yeah. Soccer, baseball, oh, all of it. Oh, I was a little kid, yeah. I, I suppose really when you go to a high school football game, they do charge. Yeah. But this is 15. It's Also, a, you like have to be there to like, you know. Yeah, like, you, you have to be there in case so she gets weird. hit in the face. Someone's right. got to be Who's, there. They can get hurt. Where's the money going to? Is this like the, the, the booster club for the volleyball team? Is this paying for jerseys, snacks? It's, it's teams, well, teams from all over California. Okay. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know where the money goes. Because you already have to pay for her to be on the team, right? It's six grand to be on the team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So and $20? Six grand. Six grand. <laughs> and oh, I shouldn't have told Naveen that. We'll just play volleyball out front. I like, know. why does it? <laughs> yeah. That is insane. Same. First, you have to make the team, right? Which she did. Which she's great. She's really good. She's got like really good. Six grand. Yeah, this is. I league. think this isn't. Like... This isn't high school. Okay. This is a okay. League, okay. 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 Uh, that kids participate in. Then they go, and then she does. You should at least get like a parent discount. Um, if you're gonna have to pay, like, I don't at least know. Like I just $10 thought that was insane. The but I... the best part about it, though, was the guy that was like the cashier was like a fan of Jason's. And so he's like, oh man, I love your videos. And then he's like, okay, so it's like $20 each. And Jason was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and the kid is just like, oh, well, I don't I'm know so that's what they said. And he was just like, no, like seriously, like I have to, like you're asking, you're really going to ask me for money to go see my daughter. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, I, I, want to, I don't make the rules. <laughs> sorry, sorry, bud. This is a situation, <laughs> it's where you need to like just walk in with a ladder. <laughs> and go right, right past the desk because, yeah. like, the old yeah, Joe and Francis, yeah, the yes. old, yeah, <laughs> walk in with the ladder and a little safety vest so you can get off Amazon. You will never have to pay twenty. I tried. I tried to sneak in yeah. another way. They were like, "Damn, oh. yeah, yeah, that's a lot." Where do you guys have kids? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I said, "I'm like not ready yet." You mean done an amazing job though with the kids. Like, it's so fun. They because I'm live all day, which you know, uh, she has to go pick them up. And the stuff that they share with her, I don't even get. Ooh. It's like this special, stepmom has a yeah. weird connotation now because of, you know, right. pornography. Oh. But- I think that's just to you. Oh, maybe it's just me. <laughs> well, maybe because you're a younger one too, or like you're closer in age. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there is like some stepmom confidentiality. She gets like a whole different side but of them also, that yeah. you don't get to see. people tell someone that's not their parents they get to hear, she gets to hear about like their dating life and stuff. I never get that. Or Wyatt will make a song and I don't even get to hear it. She'll be like, oh, Wyatt, Wyatt played me this beat the other day. And then I said, you maybe you so should jealous. do this or that. And I give him no. It's so like jealous. a whole thing. Whoa. Yeah, yeah but yeah. that relationship is a whole lot different. Like, because Matt was saying, it's not like you're, act- I mean, you're a parent to them, but you're not like, it's almost like maybe more of an older sister vibe yeah. too, but you have to right. make sure you have the fine line of like, you're so jealous. <laughs> But do you like respect any like confidentiality like, with it? Yeah, or if, yeah. If so wa- I'll tell him some stuff, and then some stuff, uh, I'm like, okay, no, I can't tell him that. Mm. But then I, I am so like, because Jason's wanna... my best friend, you know. So I'm like, so I'm not gonna tell you this thing, but it's good. Oh. <laughs> like what? Like so? No, I'm just no, I can't say. But yeah, you have. There's a fine line too. Yeah, you have to have the can. kids trust. You can't. So it's when they tell me don't say anything, I don't. Yeah. Now, she- do you share anything with them? <laughs> That you wouldn't tell Jason. No. And then that they wouldn't even tell their dad. I don't think so. She got, she, think. she, she did like a drug and alcohol questionnaire with them too. So she I was got that trying out of them. so hard to like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a moment. We're all sitting, like, we all have lunch after school together. And I was like, drugs are like really bad. And like, I know people <laughs> make it look fun. And, and like, so like, what drugs have you guys tried? And they're like, <laughs> They like turned the okay, tables on me so fast. And I was like, well, also like drinking looks fun, but it's really not fun. And then they're like, but you were drunk the other day. <laughs> You're just like, okay. Well, uh, I was like, well, it's just like, it's like, I wish I wasn't, you know? And they're like, yeah, it seems like you get drunk pretty fast, like two drinks, two <gasps> margaritas. Uh, and I was like, 
Okay, guys. So, so I can turn this, is this not car about around. Me. This is about me. And it me. was really funny, but they're uh, they're not on drugs, which is great. That's good, good to know. And they know so. they started to like troll me a little bit too. Like they're like, "Well, does it count when you put drugs up your butt?" And I was like, <gasps> "Oh, <laughs> no, I know no, about no, no, boofing no. up in here." So then, um, <laughs> yeah. So that I feel like they they know. What if you planted a seed? Like you come out with like this most outrageous lie that isn't true. Just to and see. This is and you give them two separate lies and see which one comes to Jason first that he brings it up and then you know which one has a little bit of more loose lips. Well, yeah, but if she says an outrageous think, lie, then I, feel I like, think I know. You no, know, who who would go tell Daddy? Yeah. I don't. I'm not following. You so tell. like imagine I told Charlie and Wyatt. Two different secrets about you. And I was like, please don't tell your dad I told you. Or even about you. Like, your dad never knows this, but I, I've i done this before or something. And they were like, oh, oh, oh really? I, yeah. I need to go talk to my dad about that. They would never. I don't think they would, actually. Yeah, they yeah. wouldn't. They wouldn't. Um, I just want to see if I have anything else I wanted to say. No, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, oh, I loved your... I loved your hamburger place. Oh, it was you. so cute and fun. Thank you. Oh, Hamburger Heaven? Hamburger Heaven. Yeah. We had such a good time there. Thank you. Yeah, I saw all y'all's video. Oh, it was your vlog. It was... Yeah, we shot a vlog with Cody. <laughs> and then one of Just the, co- one of the workers there. comes in. What, what What was her name? I can't remember. Oh, but she's it... like, surprise. Wait, what'd she say? I can't. I don't remember. It don't was in your video. Either. It was so funny. But yeah, no, it was great. We but... need to get you some Hamburger Heaven sauce. Have you had it? No. No, well, you probably had it when you were there, like on your burgers. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. It, it, it's like a, a an orange kind of. It's like uh, a ketchup. It's ketchup. the new ketchup, as the bottle says. <laughs> right. Does yeah. it really say that? It says it's the new ketchup. You've never looked at the bottle of know. your dad's own hamburger. I haven't sauce. looked at it, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, know. we'll hook you up with some bottles did, and some cups. Did you have fun on your wedding night? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So much fun. It's quite oh the party. my gosh. We were. I think because we had Thursday night, Friday night. And then Saturday, but we had Thursday and Friday to really talk to every single person as much as we could. You guys did. You guys were really good about so, that. So, well, thank you. But then Saturday night, I felt like we didn't have to talk to all 400 people because we had already spoken to like yeah. you know, 300 right. of our guests. So it wasn't like a full on meet and greet Saturday night. So we were able to really like, as soon as we were done talking to people that we hadn't spoken to, we could dance and have so much fun. I, I have a bit of imposter syndrome when it comes to weddings like that, when you're invited and you're like, you don't, especially with you, I was like, I didn't want to like take up too much of your time. Right. You know, and so right. I'm like, oh my God, poor Patricia had to invite me. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I'm here and I'm like, oh, oh thank, thank you so much. Same, same way with, with you that, too. But oh, but same way, even when I go to weddings, if I'm not part of like the bridal party, like yeah. if I'm not the one of the groomsmen or the bridesmaids, oh, I'm, I'm pretty like, I, I mean, I dance on the floor, but I'm not going to be up in the bride and groom's face like, yes. taking their attention. Even yeah. though I never felt like anybody hogged up my own time at my own wedding, oh, but I'm the same way when I'm at weddings. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming. I hope you have a wonderful marriage. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Thank you for being here for the Valentine's Day episode. Thank you. I'm glad I wore my red and white. Yeah, you guys look great together. <laughs> yeah. You guys are so cute together. I love you, sweetheart. Love you, Matt. And Please. you. Aww. Okay, tell me something nice. You You're amazing. Me. I'll see you at the Noah Khan show. I'll see you then. <laughs> in June. <Yeah>. June. <laughs> Don't talk to me until then. Okay, I won't. See Geek, hit us up. <laughs> yeah, Give us up, some tickets. Hit up Matt. Bye, you guys. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye.